Thank you for joining us again. This is the Upper Room Podcast. Again, my name's Shockley. We've got Joshua, Christopher, and Kenny Michael Watson with us. Uh, Josh, how's your week been, buddy? It's been good, man. I've been off work, and it's just been a good week overall. What about you, Chris? Uh, It's been pretty good, man. I've also been off work, been chilling, Uh, shot off some fireworks tonight, probably pissed off the neighbors a little bit. That's okay. How about you, Mike? Even better than both of y'all, because I've been off for two months. Yeah. (laughs) That must be nice. Must be nice. (laughs) But I, uh, I wish we could have got more, what is it called? Fireworks, yeah. I don't know why you didn't. Well, someone told us not to go crazy, so we got the we got the weak shit. I do not know who that would have been. Yeah, it's completely our fault, Chris. <laughs> it's, 110%. It's 100% Possibly. Our fault. Possibly. <laughs> I wish you could have been there. Buy one, get one free. And, like, we bring on it up there, and she'd be like, you know you can get another free one, right? And yeah, because like, they want to sell that shit. They probably got way too much of it, and they need to get rid of it. This is probably uh, their only time of year that they actually I feel anything. like around this time is when they start panicking, because it's almost the fourth and they've got all this shit and they really just need to get rid of it they're like please someone buy it you should go down there it's literally like you have to step sideways through things because there's so I much believe in there it. well that's like you know now and honestly my i don't know about a lot of other people but uh, my family on like new year's will shoot fireworks so like there's realistically only two acceptable times yeah. throughout the year to shoot fireworks but let's be honest if you're those people that like cheap out and buy a shit ton of bottle rockets you have those things for like three years like you never run out <laughs> yeah, like i never could before. like i remember one year because we used to shoot fireworks on my birthday and the fourth because my birthday's the third um and anyway, like we bought some bottle rockets, and I had those things for like two years, man. Two years. Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I bought like <clears throat> when I was a kid. I used to save up my allowance to buy some, and I bought some bottle rockets, and I set off for like the first ten, and then after that, I was like, oh, this is it. <laughs> and then you, you gotta fire off the rest, so you gotta you gotta get like a you gotta experiment. So I would like duct tape little bugs to it. <laughs> does That's that so mean is Peter gonna come I mean, after me no. for that no not over bugs if it was like a chicken maybe but <laughs> I think it's gonna take a couple chickens realistically <laughs> a Peter couple chickens a couple bottle rockets Peter never gave a shit about bugs that's why we're in the position what we are bugs? with bees now well the hell hey, bees literally run the world like, okay, if okay, it yeah, wasn't for bees not, we wouldn't be alive yeah but like that's bees a not bees bugs. in its own lane though it's not yeah. really a bug yeah like, like bees are important but I'm mean, like what about flies like fuck flies you don't Make know what flies, flies do yeah. flies probably do something they, they eat they, shit they eat your shit yeah. they eat shit that is all they're good hey, for someone's gotta eat it <laughs> <laughs> do it's you a dirty job but somebody's gotta do it what from a micro yeah <laughs> I missed that show. I wish it was a good show. It was a good show. It, it still fine. comes on, doesn't it? I don't know. I, I don't swear on what he runs the yeah. other day. Dude, he's got it all now. No, he's uh, starting up a new thing. And what's I it mean, called? it's still Dirty Jobs, but he's just... It's, it's literally just Dirty Jobs. <laughs> dirty jobs <laughs> I think they call it like Dirty Jobs, jobs. The Tour or something. <laughs> Just filthy jobs. <laughs> filthy. He does all the same. We, jobs. Yeah, we should start a new show called Filthy Jobs, where we just <laughs> we're all dressed up as flies and we're just on top of shit. <laughs> Uncleanly jobs. Oh God. The Walmart brand. <laughs> I did not see this podcast go in this direction. No, <laughs> no, no we are. Oh, why don't we? Why don't we veer into something? Why don't we talk about? Some of the scariest movies that really fucked you up as a kid. Like, oh, I, I know shit. I have a couple, especially one that was the worst for me, and it was Jeepers Creepers. Mine's that so That was like stupid. the worst. That movie to me still is Don't hate me, really but I've never scared. seen it. Oh my God. <gasps> oh it's my a God. terrifying okay. movie. You watched the third one, right? I, oh God. <laughs> oh my God. The third Dude, one is dead to me. The third one should have never existed. It was like if that Hallmark. Bad? If Hallmark made a horror movie, that's what Jeepers that's, Creepers that's 3 bad. was. It was horrible. And the thing was, it's like they had a decent budget <laughs> and they ruined it. I don't know how. Because the CGI was trash. Everything about it was trash. Like literally, the nighttime scenes were like you had just like a blue light on. Like it what? looked like you. Yeah, like Even what, like the blood like and this? shit looks so fake. And I feel costumes. like that's like some yes. like conjuring shit. Oh my like, God. like just cheap crap. The Conjuring, I thought, was actually a really good. Series. Oh no, I'm thinking of Insidious, where that, <laughs> yeah. like, the director works with like the smallest budget he can, so it's like puppets no. instead of real monsters. Well, or CGI. you're also thinking like, you got to look at like Paranormal Activity, the first one, man, was like so cheap to make, so cheap mm-hmm. to make. Yeah, and it made so much money. And it killed box offices. So by the time the second one came out, shit. 
Like, they didn't have to worry about shit. That was the only movie they really had to make. <laughs> like, <laughs> they never had to make another one. But, That's what makes it bad, is they just give up after the first one because they know they don't have to try anymore. You're right. They've already made so much off of it, so they just start milking it for as much as they can. I don't know. The Avengers, I feel like the Avengers got better. I know you know, know it's not a scary movie, but... I feel like the Avengers got better and better as it went. It did you all even watch the Avengers? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, fucking losers. I'm sorry. See, I like, could care less about any of that shit. That's just how I've <laughs> always been. <laughs> well, fine, then I'll, I'll try to keep it scary movie related. Like, to me, the only good like superhero movies, in my personal opinion, were just Batman solo movies. I like, like Spider-Man, actually. Well, the to- like which one? Toby the Maguire. The Toby Maguire movies. Okay. And I liked the yeah. new one, Into the Spider-Verse. The animated. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Really I good watched one. like half of it and I was like, mm. well, I'm I just glad it. they finally gave Miles Morales a fucking platform. Miles Morales is yeah, you know, Spider Man. Uh, and uh, anyway, like I I loved that for that. Like it was a fantastic film. I loved that for an animated movie. But honestly, I love Tom Holland, uh, the new Spider Man. <laughs> love that kid. I think he's great. Uh, the Far From Home, though, the second movie he was in. I was, Didn't watch that one, actually. It was not great. I thought we were talking about <laughs> scary movies. Yeah, we me are. too. <laughs> hey, Spider-Man can be scary depending on who you are. <laughs> Green Goblin. Uh, listen, I fucking hate Spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we got on the... The only reason we even veered onto that is because you brought up the Avengers. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's, we were actually going on... Well, okay, so to take it back, uh, the scary movie that... All right. When I was a kid, did y'all ever watch uh, Darkness Falls? Yes. No. About the Tooth Fairy? I remember yeah. that. That oh, shit actually. fucked me up. That was like, a weird movie. I'm still scared of the dark today because of that movie. Really? Yeah. That was a scary oh, I movie. I can't stand being in just pitch black dark. Oh, Even God. when I'm sleeping, I have to have like a no TV shit. on or something. Yeah. I used to oh, be God. that way, and now it's like, I don't know what happened, but now I don't care to be in the dark at all. No. I can't sleep unless I'm Dude, in the anything dark can get you when you're in the dark. Yeah, but... I, I, I see exactly what you mean. I used to be the same way, but I guess now it's just got to where I can sleep without anything on. But the bottom downstairs in the living room, the actual full light doesn't work. So whenever we shut it off to walk upstairs, we don't have any kind of light, and I still get scared walking up. Yeah, it see, really scares me to death. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, I can sleep in the dark just fine, but if I have to walk down a dark hallway, it's so scary. Like different. That dude, like, it's scary. Something's gonna get you. <laughs> You're gonna get got. Like the floor pops and I'm out. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, like any creak in the house. Uh, say, like I turn off the TV to go to sleep. If there's any creak, even if I just make it up, I freak the fuck out. Yeah, I don't. Like I'll, it, I'll imagine like a hand. Another thing. Uh, so my bed is like four feet off the ground. Yes, and I keep my water bottle down there, and at the night I'm horrified to reach down and grab my bottle. Because what if something grabs my hand <laughs> from under my bed? I will. I literally shit my pants or something. Like that. I can't go to like the uh, the haunted corn mazes because I'll deck a motherfucker in his face. Yeah, that shit. Don't, don't touch I, me. I don't see why people actually get into going to like the haunted houses and nope. shit. Ain't for me. I don't. I mean, the one down here in Rutledge that they did, the Avondale Haunted Barn, it was okay because it was just like a five minute little thing. I mean, like it was done really well. It was done cool. It was a fun little pass of time. The only one I've ever done was at Restaurant when I was a kid, and it was like the teachers was amazing. I bet the that teachers were dressed up in like little like costumes. Zombies and like. And they'd have a bowl full of spaghetti and be like, ooh, it's brains. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so dumb. Like you could see them like hiding behind or, things. Ready or to it's awful. What if on Halloween everything actually comes to reality and the rest of the year is just like. <laughs> that's fucked up because that's my birthday. Yeah. 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 My birthday. Yeah, I, I can't birthday, leave because yeah. like fucking a, de- a demon will come get me. Yeah. Possibly. Oogity no. boogity. Hey, Oogity boogity. Never know. <laughs> You know what's even worse, and I don't know why, is when the the lights are off at a top of a staircase. Yes. And you sometimes you'll be like, oh, just go to the bathroom upstairs, but all the lights will be off. And I'm yeah. like, nope, I'll hold it. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'll, I'll pee my sorry. pants before I do that. Like <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize, actually. There, and there's two <laughs> closet doors in here. I don't know why there's two closet when there could be one closet door in here. But every <laughs> closet in here is like that. There's two doors, and it's it's the same closet, but and there's you two w- doors. And you won't let us look behind them. You're, I mean, it's yeah, open Don't now. open the You're door welcome. now. Yeah. You've got I'll me tell scared. you, actually, what's in there is a coffee table, Dead an hooker. old computer desk, and I think like some comforters that we don't use. That's exactly what a murderer would say. Oh, and inside <laughs> the comforters, there's dead bodies, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Do That's you what guys the smell eat is. them like in your spare time. Like, we do, yeah. Like? We do. 
Emily eats it raw, but I like to cook it. Oh, I like really? I thought you she like didn't like meat. Are you like a this meat's done? different. Yeah. This is the crazy <laughs> shit. Eat the heart and give you your courage. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chris is over here like pulling a Dahmer. Like, why is everybody racist? We all taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was he was a crazy he a was. crazy was guy, a man. That shit man. was wild. You've seen the documentaries and shit on him, right? Oh yeah, it's crazy. I watched uh, my friend uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, we me and that we saw that together. Yeah, we went together. It was really good. That was actually yeah. a really good movie. Oh, I was just saying, talking to your mic. Okay, my bad. I wasn't trying talking to... about your mic, Josh. Yeah, I God. see. Turn your bad habit. I don't know. That's, that's the sin count. You're up to one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Three more. One. We're gonna place your bitch ass. Oh. <laughs> All right, Jesus. give me another scary movie. <laughs> Something that'll ooh, give me shivers. Well, actually, you know, Sinister. to kind of spin off of uh, like Chris's, like when I was a kid, the first Jeepers Creepers scared the living shit out of me. Like I was terrified of that movie and it wasn't even like I grew up watching scary movies I was watching like Halloween from like age two but the thing with Jeepers Creepers was is we were camping when I first watched that movie so I was with my granddad my grandma uh, my mom my dad this is before my sisters came along so um, of course like I said we were camping so what happened was is like we we had been out on our boat all day so me and Papa go back to the camper because I was tired. I think it was like five or six, and uh, he had gotten it on like uh, VHS, and we had like one of those TVs that had the VHS like built into it. So like we put it in and we started watching that, and I remember watching it with just like sheer amazement because like it was really the, the first one was done really well. Like it was terrifying, and then. He goes outside. I had fallen asleep at this point. He goes outside and shakes the whole camper. Now, if you've ever seen my granddad, he's like six foot four, big dude, okay? And he just shakes the whole so me. fucking camper. Yeah, basically yeah. you, but huge. Like, huge. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> muscles huge. Double me. He's like, a thick boy, right? Yeah. You call me not <laughs> strong. One Borderline Dwayne Johnson, just huge. Like, anyway, he, uh, he shakes the fucking camper and scares the shit out of me. But that is not the movie that fucked me up the most in my childhood. The movie that fucked me up the most, I actually watched with uh, my middle sister, Caitlin. Um, we had watched The Grudge. And the oh, first fuck. Grudge movie scared the shit out of me. I mean, within the first ten minutes, I think me and Caitlin had to turn it off because we were that scared. Because that's where like she goes up in the attic and all you hear for a minute is just... Uh, and she then you, buy, with and that then, noise, you probably just scared a couple people. I know, yeah, right? I don't like that. <laughs> and then she just lights the lighter, and it's there. And then I remember us just freaking the hell out. Like my sister was crying, I was crying, and we turned it off. And then it took us about it took us three or four years, and then we finally watched it all the way through. <laughs> okay, so have you guys ever heard of Goatman before? Yes. What? You've yes. never heard what? of Goatman? No. It's an urban... Man bear pig. Yeah, no, okay, so legend. I actually have it pulled up. It's an urban legend. Emily introduced me to it. So the goat man is a legendary half goat, half human creature that has the head and hindquarters of a goat, but the body of a human. And it's like this long thing. Like There's like this man, like, you know, half goat, half man that lives in the woods. Go ahead. Didn't it originate in Virginia? Maryland. Maryland. Same yeah. thing. Originated in Maryland. <laughs> but... The thing is, is that Goatman can take the form and sound of any person to manipulate your thoughts. So there was this one story about these kids who had went camping, and they had this little camper down in the woods, and they had all went down there, and they were going to stay a couple days. And whenever it got to be nighttime, shit started getting weird, and they started just hearing weird shit. Well, one of the girls that were there had woke up in the middle of the night, and everyone was asleep, but there was another person inside the camper that looked like one of her friends, but her friends was laying down, and it was like they can take he can take the form of once somebody that you know to fuck with your head. And in another part of the story, Goatman was outside of the camper trying to get her to let him in, but he had the voice of her friend saying, "Hey, it's me. You know, let me in. Hey, I'm out here," because her friend had like went back to the house to get something, you know. And then Goatman comes up like, "Hey, you know, it's me. Let me in." and She's, you know, actually starting to think, like, is it her, you know? But it's Goatman. He's fucking with you. And mm-hmm. it's just a very freaky urban legend about 
that, and it's just wild. There's another one. I think it was from like Jersey, and Jer- the one in Jersey, I cannot for the life of me remember. The Jersey the name Devil. Of. No. <laughs> well, it actually, yeah, that's actually it. That oh, is really? actually it. Yeah, the Jersey Devil. So, <laughs> very similar. Quite honestly, it was very, very similar in the explanation, uh, but behind Goatman. Um, but the Jersey Devil, you could hear like screech. And then by the time you heard it screech, you were fucked, basically. Like, you were just screwed. Like, it, it was already on you by the time it screeched. Like, if you ever watched that, there was a movie not long ago that was, um, the kid was deaf. Like, the kid was deaf, but, like, everybody had to walk around in silence. I can't remember. Oh, uh, a Quiet uh, Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Quiet Place. That was a fantastic movie. If you've not seen it, go watch it. Me and Emily watched it in theaters. It was a really oh, wait, good movie. Wait, isn't number two coming out next year? Shockley. All of us did. That's yeah, I was not yeah, there, no. All right, you weren't to. there, but yeah. everybody else was. Yeah. I remember Shockley because you were so fucking loud during that yeah. movie. <laughs> during the quietest movie I've yeah. ever been to. You were the <laughs> loudest <laughs> motherfucker in there. Oh, not only that, <laughs> but when we, when we went to the premiere of like the the new It, it he it. was so loud too. <laughs> no, that woman that was sitting next to my sister was like cracking me up. Like I couldn't <laughs> help it. She was like... She's gonna find the knife in the mailbox, <laughs> <laughs> and then like she'd know what was about to happen because she read the book too. So, but every time something would happen, she'd be like, "I'll be a child." I hate whenever people are allowed in movies. It bugs the fuck yeah. out of me so bad. I really well, hate. I'm sorry it. that I ruined your good time. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It was funny. It was very funny. I'm sorry. I'm for really us, it was funny for I think, us. I think Emily just gets embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, if you think that's bad, me and uh, an old friend of mine, Madeline Coffee, we used to get, we went to go watch the remake of um, The Evil Dead. And, like, the scene where the bitch gets, like, raped by the tree, like, by the tree trunks, we sat there and just screamed it out, like, to the top of our lungs. Like, she's getting raped by that fucking tree. <laughs> So, Jesus, I'm telling you, no, it was hilarious because like people couldn't stop laughing through that entire film because we'd be down there like, oh, bitch, like, it was so good. That was a scary, a scary like remake. It was that was very really good. good. It was done like very remake. well. I like the I, really? Like, yeah, I felt guy, I felt really bad for the guy in glasses because he got shot with a fucking nail gun. Like that motherfucker would not die, and then he went out in the most bitchy way possible. Like, it was so bad. I hated it. <laughs> that tree rape scene was very controversial when the movie first came out way back in the day. I mean, yeah. like that's a that's a pretty harsh topic. Yeah, like it, like it doesn't that matter how you put it. Got fucked by a tree. Yeah, it's how pretty... do you explain that? <laughs> you know, I've pretty... never saw it, so I cannot. You never seen Evil Dead? Never seen no. Jeepers Creepers? I've never seen, seen Evil like the second the the ending of the second one, just because I showed up here and Emily was watching it. Okay. At least you well, can watch the that's third all I got one, for that. Because, like, the, the third Jeepers Creepers is such a disappointment. Don't waste your time. You'll see it at Redbox. Just don't waste your time, for God's sake. I, I was going to get it, but Chris told me no. No. I mean, if you haven't seen the first one and the second one, then why would you get the third? Well, it got shit reviews anyways, so... <laughs> Do you might as well just jump in on number three. If I could have given a negative rating, I would have. Like, it was <laughs> that bad. I mean, you can I never watched it. Like the first, the first one was the best Jeepers Creepers. The second one was still pretty good. It was, it was a little slightly more cheesy, but it was like, you know, it just had like typical horror movie tropes. The second it. one was still at least true to the, you know, to the story. Yeah. Yeah. Which one was them on the bus? The second one. The second okay, one, yeah. I'll watch the second one. You didn't you see the first, the first one. I've not watched the first one. Damn, the first one was the best. Whenever yeah. he's dumping those bodies down that drain, yeah, oh my I've not god, watched it. that Dude, gives me chills to, to this okay, day. Okay. Still, that, that is, is such the, a crazy movie. That is one of the best scary movies that has come out in the last twenty years. It really is. It's a good like, movie. I loved that movie as a child. Like after it scared the shit out of me, I've loved it ever since. Like I still can't watch it and not get scared during certain parts. Like you know the scene where he's on top of the cop car yes. and cuts dude's head off. Jesus. Like that drives me wild. Spoiler alert. But like just straight <laughs> if you up, haven't seen it by alert. now. Yeah, it's, I'm it's sure it's most right. people have seen it. It's I mean, literally it's a twenty year old movie. So if you've not seen it, it's your problem. Isn't that old bro what year did it come i don't out? know but that i want to say it was too we all got computers in our hands the what yeah. 
We all got computers in our hands. Yeah, fuck. Well, you know. So I'm speaking good. of uh, uh, scary movies as a child, I'm going to credit this. I doubt she'll ever listen to it, but Darby actually. Go ahead, Chris. No, go ahead. Go uh, for it. Uh, she used to like force scary movies on me as children. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as children. <laughs> That's the first time okay. I ever saw it. He's not just a singular child. He's a children. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, whenever I was multiple children at once, <laughs> he's like, I couldn't get away from it. I would be in the living room, in the bedroom, no matter where I Anyways, was. Anyways. <laughs> sorry, God. <laughs> okay, Anyways. Go ahead. Continue. Uh, I about lost my damn train of thought now. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, she showed me the movie The Ring, oh, and movie. for the longest time, I couldn't like hardly watch a TV. Scared, <laughs> it scared, scared you that bad? Shit. Yes, I was that's a little pretty, boy. That's okay, pretty bad. I'm talking about like when I was like rough. six or seven. All right. we watched this movie. But uh, fun fact: Jeepers Creepers came out. Uh, the first one came out August 31st of 2001. Uh, you guys want to hear something really stupid? Mm-hmm. Yes. The movie that fucked me up as a kid was. The Blob. <laughs> it <laughs> fucked me up, man. And y'all laughed at me for about the rain. Wait, Jesus. what movie is this? I'm lost. I don't it think I've ever seen The Blob. Oh, God, oh man. God. I don't remember it what it seemed about. But 50s. I just remember it being like this big, oozy, goozy thing. And I, I think like probably like some scientist made it or something like that. But I always used to think that it was going to come crawl down the hallway. From 1958? What? Yeah, it came out in 58. Yeah. No, probably. I haven't seen that. No, yeah. I haven't seen yeah. that. Yeah. My, my parents had it on... So, does that kind of explain your irrational fear of slugs? Yeah, very well could. That oh my God. and the fact that my you cousin... You blew my mind. That and the fact that my cousin used to always play with them. And like, he'd be like fucking with them. He played with slugs? Yeah, yeah. Like, he'd pick them up and like... And like a strange and, and child. And like a five, six, seven-year-old. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, well, like why are you doing that? They're weird looking. Do you remember, Michael, you remember Caleb Tate? Yeah. A long time ago, whenever I think we were maybe like ten, we put like two slugs in the microwave. Oh my god! <laughs> and this god. was at my mom's house, and she fu- <laughs> she fucking came home like when we had did it, and then she saw that we did it, and she fucking flipped out so oh bad, god. dude. It was it was. Why awful. did you do that? What I don't know what why we did it. I don't know. That? I have no idea. I mean. I'm sure, sure like thinking, ten year old. You know what we should do? Funny. We should stick slugs in a microwave. <laughs> Fuck no. Did you wait? Did you turn it on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you microwave. Could, what else are we gonna do in the bitches. microwave? Microwave. I don't, God damn I don't know yeah. why you put them in there, anyways. <laughs> no, we cooked them bitches up. <laughs> They're gonna what did them. it do? Did it like uh, burst? No, well, I don't remember. Let's go. We did it. No, they had to explode. I'm sure they did. That's nasty. That is so fucking nasty. I'll tell you something fucked up. I used to do to ants. <laughs> like, I would, like, purposely put a piece of food down because, like, my great-grandmother, she had, like, this little, little like, concrete slab, almost, that was basically, like, just something to walk on before you got to the steps of her house, uh, you know, on the, like, deck, I guess you could say, uh, porch. But uh, anyway, I would, like, put some food down, wait till a bunch of them came around, and I would, like, use my fingernail to, like, section off their head, and I'd just, like, <laughs> cut their head off. Okay. Yeah, all right. Like it was hilarious. Oh God! You know what we used to do? Me and my brother. Uh, you know what a cattle prod is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the little this thing you're taking shock cows. <laughs> okay. We used to Let's get those it. and shock little bugs, like oh the, little, what? the little roly polies. Wow. We'd find them and go damn. See, you can't do that anymore because now the cattle prods you have to like push into them before they'll fire. Yeah. It's stupid. I wish we had the old cat. I wish bring I had back old, old yeah, bring them back. Make back. Actually, uh, so I've talked to my brother. Uh, big shout out to Madison Watson. Okay. He listens to all of our podcasts. Oh, oh, I know, right? And him, him and his wife. Anyways, uh, he has suggested that we play games and the punishment instead of sauce, the hot salsa. Uh, that's a little spoiler or tease. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, that we would shock each other with a cattle prod. Please God, Man. can we do that? <laughs> I don't know about I'm that. So like, if one of hurt. us fucks up, like instead of just like doing a retake, we just. <laughs> I don't have any experience with that. Does how bad does that hurt? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's hard enough to cattle? shock a cow. Cattle I'm are not, a I'm not stubborn doing that, animals. <laughs> no, bro, it's not. It's not anything that's going to make you have a heart attack. I'll say that. But to be fair, Madison also, <laughs> Madison also said we should do bird watching. What? What is that? For, you've never just watched you've never birds. Bird watching? Just, just watch, watch birds. Watch birds. Yeah. Fuck watch, that. Watch birds. That sounds <laughs> awful. <laughs> I, he, he's I, the one who... I have another activity. This. We could uh, wall watch. <laughs> we could just watch the drywall. Yeah, let's, let's go just, watch paint dry, boys. 
<laughs> no. It's a lot of, let's just take a camera and to like their workplace and just film Josh sanding shit all Man, the time. Like, that was entertaining. You, you just hear me fucking cussing and just having a fit Fuck the this whole day. Place. Let me follow him to lunch and he's sucking down 20 cigarettes. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That, that's pretty much me. Yeah. The whole Josh, pack of cigarettes. Chug half a Gatorade, fucking uh, throw four cigarettes back. I'm like, all right. Oh, let's I, get I have a question, there. Josh. In your whole entire life, a rough estimate, how many cigarettes have you smoked? Oh my your God. Your whole life. If I mean you just think, add up like how many you smoke in a day, and like even when you used to smoke multiple more, multiply by like, like twenty. Oh god! Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> this is just a podcast where we're supposed let's to save, speak. Let's say forty thousand. <laughs> oh my what? god! What? I'm gonna say that. I'm what? Wait. So there's well, twenty in a pack. Yeah. Let's say you smoke uh, let's, a pack wait. a week. Hang on. Or uh, just a, a pack a day. Let's calculate how a much money you would have saved. So that's twenty a day. Yeah. And then we'll multiply that by 365. How long have you been smoking? Uh, since I was 13. <laughs> and you're 24 now. So Damn. That's 11, 11 years. years. You have smoked roughly 80,000. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> on, on, if you smoked a pack a day, that right there so is that's what a, you did. That's probably pretty close. Like, give or take a few thousand. That's pretty close, probably. Uh, I've gotten way back in the recent years. Let's, wait, yeah. Shockley, Shockley, let's see how much you spent on cigarettes. Oh, God. Yeah, let's uh, actually do that. That was about, about, well, about six. The price. No, wait, wait, wait. Has changed a little bit from when we were younger. Okay, we'll so give or take like a couple we'll give five or take, dollars. We'll say five fifty. Five fifty a pack. Sound good? Yeah, five fifty. Five fifty. So but you gotta divide that by twenty. So we gotta divide that twenty. And then we multiply by five point five zero. Is that with tax? <laughs> twenty two thousand eighty two dollars and that's, fifty that's, cents. You could have <laughs> right. bought a new car. I could have got a Mustang. I could have got his car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I've got a smoker's oh, lung instead. <laughs> well, which oh, would you well. rather have? Oh, we could play would you rather. Nicotine. I'd rather have the cigarettes. Yeah, please. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if I would. I've, I think I've, in my entire life, I've probably smoked like three cigarettes, yep. maybe. Not even full ones. I've only taken I've never hits. even seen you touch one. I have I saw it. him it's, smoke it's one rare. cigarette, and he held it like a certain <laughs> green item. <laughs> so it cracked me the fuck up. Smoke. I didn't know how to hold it because I'm not a smoker. Like a, I didn't like a, like just a joint. joint. <laughs> a joint. Just yeah. a joint. <laughs> we're not in t- we're not in eighth grade. You can say joint. Yeah, you can say joint. I, I just didn't know how to hold it. No, man. Don't don't say joint. Just say jerk. Yeah, yeah, we didn't, we're, we're not going to get sponsored, man. Jerk. Fuck. <laughs> no. Damn it. Hey, Episode um, four. We're not people, getting sponsored. <laughs> Damn it, man. The, the people that own. Twisted T, if you hear this, doubt you will, but if you do, oh. just sponsor us, please. Anyway. Actually, <laughs> one of my friends told me just find them on Instagram and just lot them up. Just all of us, just message them. Like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Sponsor us, man. Come on, come on. Literally, just, just give me some, a couple yeah, of Yeah, they're going to listen back to our podcast, the sponsors, and they're going to hear the part about the slugs in their microwave, and they're going to be like, uh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> no, they and kill people. These guys are bugs. fucked. <laughs> they're going to be like, these guys are fucking weird. <laughs> we'll have PETA at our front doors tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Please, Chris. Please come to my God, twin. Oh, God, 22, 22 grand. grand. That's probably Josh. pretty close, yeah. Like, and wait a second, you vaped too, so add that shit in. <laughs> yeah, but but here's oh, here's the thing, you know, vaping is actually cheaper. Yeah, way. It's still cheaper. is it really? It's still way cheaper. cheaper. It's still yeah, vaping is way vape. cheaper than smoking. This bottle of juice is gonna last me like roughly a, two months. Yeah. And, and it's like I 20, 25 40 bucks. bucks on it. Okay, all right, never mind. Whereas in a week, I'd spend more than 50, 40 bucks on cigarettes. Wow. Smoking yeah. a pack a day, you'll spend more than forty. Yeah, yeah, easy. Or we'd all just quit and put our money into the podcast, and then we could all have um, super well, fancy speaking mics. Of money I mean, I don't smoke. So. <laughs> 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 I do not smoke, and I'm actually, I actually like this microphone a lot. I think it sounds nice, but it does sound nice. <laughs> God, but. I wonder how much I've spent on booze. But <laughs> like anyways, that range is I don't. When we when I actually upload this shit, I do not know how to like break down these timestamps because we have just been, been so f- fucking all over the place. But Bro, just this is what fly. this is, man. This is a this this week or this Saturday is a freestyle cast. We're just rolling with the shit, you know. Holiday time. I'm sure somebody out there enjoys it. Yeah. I mean, I've See, been told like, "Ooh, I like to listen to like the fancy ones, and I like to learn things." And like, well, I hope she like doesn't to... listen to this because I don't want her 
feel like she's attacked. Well, we are but filth. My two-year-old was in the room. I can't listen to <laughs> it. Whoa, okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck your two, two-year-old, bro. Would like, you want your two-year-old listening to us? Yeah. Why would no, you let no, your two-year-old listen why? to a fucking podcast to like, begin with? That's you, wild. Do, what if you, it was like a nice podcast? Do you just want me to like sing the ABCs, bro? Ever listening to a podcast? Like, I'll just sing the ABCs there. Let your two-year-old listen to that ABC. Okay. Wait, do you know they're, like, changing the ABC song? What? Because uh, kids are saying L-M-N-O-P, and you L-M-N-O-P. can't say that. L-M-N-O-P? Yeah, I mean, they're and not it was wrong. confusing children. What do you mean? So they're saying it, like, E-L-M-E-N-O-P. They would say L-M-N-O-P, and they would think it's, like, a word. Yeah, L-M-N-O-P. Elemental P. Elemental P. Oh my God. Have you never seen the alphabet before? So, yeah. scientists out there, if you come across a new bug, please call it the Elemental P. Please do it. <laughs> Save this generation. <laughs> we need to find the new alphabet song. I don't here. want to. What? That's stupid. We don't have to do it right like now. Like, if kids are too stupid to differentiate letters, then I feel way worse for this future generation than I did for hours. Like, yeah, you, that's you think bad. they get smarter. No, you no. don't. don't. You get know. dumber. Like, if my sisters are anything to prove, like, I love them to death, but they're dumb. <laughs> oh, man, that's dirty. They're gonna kill Bro, they can't sleep. even remember my mom's birthday. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, this is not roast family time. <laughs> <laughs> I love them to death, but that was literally one of the funniest things in the world. We asked them on my mom's birthday when mom's birthday was. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. It was so funny. Anyway, that's another story for another time. <laughs> God, it was so good, though. But, um, I feel but like we've strayed. Yeah, very we have. So, uh, for you all who don't podcast, typically you try to come up with a topic. And it is pretty rare that we actually ever stick <laughs> to the topic that we've agreed upon. <laughs> The last, I think the the last one we had a pretty yeah. solid topic. It was really through. good. Yeah. It was a solid topic, but that's not what we originally agreed on. No, no. but it went very well. well. It went very well. I mean, At least I think it did. The thing is, it's like we do have this whiteboard that we keep a couple of things to kind of like flow into on it. You know, just just kind of cliff notes, really. Uh, yeah, we've done like one of those. Like <laughs> <laughs> literally one of those. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, actually, if you guys uh, want to come up with some ideas for us to talk about anything you'd like to hear, shoot it. You know, put it in the comment section. Are I we want, I want to hear things that are, like, two-year-old friendly. <laughs> 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 We're at 33 minutes. Um, can, we, can we talk about... Um, no. Can we, can we just talk about how terrible... Sesame Street actually is what? Well, Barney, the last time I watched, bro, Barney I was, like was six. That shit. So no, fuck you, dude. Sesame Barney Street is was so the shit. Sesame Street. That doesn't mean that Sesame Street's not cool. They can both be cool. I liked Barney as a kid. I was obsessed with Barney. I was too. Yeah, was like, do you remember hang on, the hang movie, on, hang on, hang on. like Twinkin movie, where he caught the little like fuzzy animal? Yeah, that came I out do of remember the sky, that. Like, that was cool. Rainbow. Yeah. Fucking, Who was that big orange know. motherfucker? You know who I'm talking about? <laughs> that big ass fucking dude. Who was he? What the fuck is he doing nowadays? He's probably looking right now. Wait, uh, Snuffleupagus? I don't know. I don't no, know. That, that's the elephant looking thing. From oh, wait, Sesame yeah, from Street. Sesame Street. I'm yeah, talking about know. this big orange dude. What was his name? You know what I'm talking about? Let me try to find this dude on Google real fast. Big, just Google's big yeah. orange dude. Somebody who's listening to <laughs> this is like Trump. screaming like, the name of it. If I actually, <laughs> yeah. I, if, I, if I remember, I'll actually put an image up of this big orange dude on the screen when now, I edit this. This actually kind of came out. After I stopped watching, like, kid shows. You know, I was a big kid at that point. I could watch other shit. But uh, my sisters oh. were obsessed yeah. with the Wiggles. Holy fuck. Oh, I feel no. like that was a little bit after our yeah, time. It was. I, never, I never watched the Wiggles. But I'm not going to lie. Fruit salad. That yummy, shit fucked. Yummy. Dude, that shit was the cut. That right? shit fucked. <laughs> like, that shit was you know great. what uh, I miss is a uh, chowder. You ever watch Chowder? Holy I shit, Chowder. Chowder. Yeah, mm-hmm. Chowder was a good shit. Yeah. My favorite Bro. show when I was younger, Dexter's Lab and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That yes. It, oh, my God. Maggie and the Ferocious Maggie Beast. Says. That's who I was talking about. <laughs> that was oh way God. off from yeah. what I was thinking. You can't just say the orange fat motherfucker. I didn't know. <laughs> I, just, I didn't know. <laughs> I just remember know. That, the, that it was like orange, and it. I just remember it was big and orange. That's all yeah. I remember. <laughs> I thought it was the most snuffle. You could have given me 100 guesses, and I would have never guessed. I should have said something about red dots all I literally just topped in big. 
big orange guy kid Wait, show. I actually <laughs> saw. And just scrolled through shit to see what would come up. I actually saw a picture on Facebook the other day, like a little meme, and it was Rolly Polioli. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, I remember oh him. My God, yeah. Rolly Polioli was the shit. Well, what was the theme song to the... Rolly the... Polioli. Something. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I Is that the one with the, like, it. yellow robots? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah they they were, were, that, like, that show was great. They were Circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well... <laughs> I was shocked to find out that uh, Octavia never watched Adventure Time or the regular show. Oh, I never watched either of those. Either. I watched Adventure Time. Watched, I really listen, liked what it. you I never have watched to understand it. is by the time that shit was coming out, I'd moved on to bigger and better things. Like, I, I was I was still smoking weed in Adventure Time, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Adventure Time was more meant for acid. <laughs> you were right, not No, no. I, I, or wait, I what disagree. was the one with the pirates? Do you remember that one? Oh man, I know. Gumball. No, that's not. No. Oh, uh, Captain Flapjack. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Flapjack. Yeah, that's where that was. Gumball Adventures. No, no, no. Something Gumball like was the one with the uh, yellow and the like the blue or uh, the pink and blue rabbit. That was Gumball. Either way, I never watched down. that. Oh, I like, didn't either. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Holy was shit, that best. was good. Yeah, that was good shit. That was that way was on up there. The show that I, I still watch today is SpongeBob. SpongeBob always slaps. SpongeBob is good. I yeah, actually SpongeBob got a membership slapped. to like uh, like the DC Universe stuff, which is like all the Batman, Superman shit. Uh, but they actually have the original Teen Titans on there, and I've been no rewatching shit. it. Like the old Teen ones? Titans that is show. good. The Teen old Titans one was good, actually man. really good, but yeah, the no. new Teen Titans go. Yeah, but it's entertaining. I mean, like it was cheesy, but it was entertaining. I, I didn't like watch Teen any Titans of it. I really don't know. It had no plot. Like it was just something the stupid. New Teen Titans. It was literally watching. Oh, we have no plot. Yeah, we, we don't. <laughs> but like that's the point. <laughs> I don't know. You know what would have actually been an interesting topic is the dark and underlying themes of certain kids shows that yeah, aren't at that the That would have been really Dude, there's a theory. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> there's that's a sweet. theory that Ed, Ed and Eddie, all the kids are actually dead. We should just we should have like, just we went way hey, more. Hey, 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 hey. What? You've never heard that theory? No. It's it's kind of more of like one of those creepy pasta things we were talking yeah. about. Like that's what, it's okay, so all the kids in the cul-de-sac are actually dead. That's why you never see parents. That's why, like, in the original show, you never really saw them go to school. You didn't see them do anything. It was was an internal summer. And they were trapped here. They were in purgatory together. Holy fuck. That's fucking freaky. You just hurt me. Hurt me deep. uh, What about uh, Eddie's big brother? Did did we ever get to see him? Kevin? Kevin? Yeah, Kevin was his name. You remember the Powerpuff Girls? Kevin was, uh... Oh, it never showed that? Yeah. I loved Powerpuff The Powerpuff Girls. Isn't there, like, some deep secret that woman? What was her name? I don't know. Miss Bollum. Was it? Bellum. I See, I, I would have never remembered remember that. Maybe Courage that the Cowardly shit. Dog also had some really that dark was themes. That shit was weird. Bro, that there, shit would give one, me nightmares. There's one episode of Courage the Cowardly Dog that I still to this day can't watch. Like, it freaked <laughs> me out so much as a kid. But it's the one where Muriel's uh, mattress is uh, possessed. And it possesses her. And it's fucking weird. That show was I can't fucked. believe they let, like... Eight year olds watch this. You gotta think. I watched Ren and Stimpy as a kid. <laughs> like, oh no, know. Yeah, that like, was too much for me. Like, <laughs> Animaniacs, Freakazoid, like all that shit had like the most awkward sexual innuendos as well as like just fucked up plots. But that was part of growing up in the you know gener- you know our generation. Like, yeah. and they wonder why we. Hate everything. <laughs> like, that's, it's so weird. All that's going to be something that we get into next time because I'm I'm actually very interested in that. Oh yeah, we maybe that can be that. Uh, that that next week's topic. topic. Yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. I'll, I'll do some digging. Watch some cre- What is it called? Creepy pasta. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, you definitely need to hey, look hey, into hey. some creepy pastas. Let's wrap it uh, up with uh, one thing that's uh, scared you out of your mind. Let's start with you, Michael. Oh, I've already said mine. The Darkness Falls thing. Oh, yeah, It yeah, still no. fucked me up today. That was 20 years I, ago. That's a movie, though. Like, yeah. No, like, like, we're talking Well, that's about, like, an experience. Like, like, it doesn't have to be anything awful, but, like, something that's just, like, really scared the shit out of you. Mm, mm, I've got one. We met, go ahead, Shockley. Let me think about this. Okay. So, in my family, we dream. Like, we dream shit, and then it ends up. Some of it ends up happening. Okay. Like, so it, it's very weird. It's almost like quote unquote deja vu. But anyway, um, so me and my mom have had the exact same dream before. 
And Ooh. that one really wasn't that weird. So, like, it was just, I mean, it was weird. So, I'll give you just a brief explanation of it before I roll into okay. it. Um, but basically, we had gone on vacation. And there was only one difference between our dreams. But we had gone on vacation. And um, somebody had broke into the hotel. And, like, in my dream, the cops showed up. In her dream, it was the military. And uh, But basically, it's the same dream. And this guy, for whatever reason, came to our hotel room. And he was just in there. And Mom had me and my sister, because uh, at the time, the third one hadn't been born yet. We were just hidden under the bed. And Mom had a gun. And the last thing that really happened in the dream that we could recollect, and we literally just recollected it all as one, um, was cops burst in, shot him, and then it was fine. Like, so that's brief explanation of that one. So the freaky one is the one with me and my sister. My sister and I had the exact same dream, but from different perspectives. We had it from our own perspectives, and what it was was the world was ending. And for whatever reason, the entire family had to go to the church that my great-grandmother used to go to, and we would pile in, and that's how we got transported to heaven. Okay, well the problem was, was I was trapped on Earth, and my the church was about to take off and beam up to heaven. So Caitlin had to run out of the church and come find me in what was basically hell, and then the church left and we both were stuck there. <laughs> like, that is literally the freakiest that thing. Good, yeah. dude, that's a weird dream to have. Yeah, yeah dude, that's very awful. weird. I've had fucked up dreams too, really, really bad, baby dreams. You've told me a couple. But I, it's weird I because have them. I had it from my perspective. I was stuck yeah. in hell, and she comes out of nowhere. But she had the dream yeah. where she had to come find me. But we had the exact same dream. That's so you crazy. remember your weird. dreams a lot? Because no. I remember, I remember mine a lot. I had a dream the other night that freaked me out so bad, and I don't know what it is. I guess it has something to do with childhood, but I always have these dreams. It's very often that I have these dreams that I'm a kid again, and like shit is just crazy like the world is twisted and shit's different and mm-hmm. i don't know the people that i know now and like i'm i'm friends with people but they're people that i've never met and i don't know and it's like my mom and dad will be different people and i'll just have these crazy ass dreams that feel so real and when i wake up it takes me like an hour to snap out of it because i still feel mm-hmm. just so twisted from the dream well see that's like i was reading something the other day that uh, we had um do you know that in your dreams you there's like little to no like sensory outside of smell? You can actually smell things in your dreams. Yeah. But everything else, like I feel touch, like you feel can feel textures. things in your dreams. Yeah. I, I almost See, feel like you can feel things. I called bullshit on that because I swear I felt shit. I swear before. I have too. Like it's crazy. I felt things, and some of it has woke me up before. Yeah. Like I had a dream when I was a kid that this witch was like clawing at my back, and when I actually, yeah, the freaky thing is when I woke up, well, I had a bunch of claws. I feel like I can like I can feel like wetness and stuff in my dreams. Like if I'm like swimming or something in my mm-hmm. dream, I almost feel like I can feel it on my skin. Like it's so weird. I don't know how to explain that. Did you piss yourself? <laughs> <laughs> a couple times, yes. <laughs> but this is not that. <laughs> Those times were attributed to, uh, what was it? Uh, strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> this time is different, though. Fuck a strawberry. We got about a minute and 38 seconds left before we're going to have to wrap this podcast up, my friends. Just because, I'm going to be honest, it's a bitch to render anything over 45 minutes. <laughs> it really is. It's a pain. We're yes. lazy casters, man. We are. We're very, we're very. Only one of us. Don't watch us. Yeah. Any of that. Don't watch us, actually. We are, we're awful. We're just bad We have people. nothing to watch right now. Oh, well, well, For it's gonna, now. When the shit gets posted, it's going to have a video. Well, good point. It could have a full video if we had a cameraman. <coughs> I'm working on it, man. I know. I love you. <laughs> Kid. Anybody got any last words we want to say before we wrap this shit up? It was good. It was bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little scattered, you know. Yeah. Ah, we're always a little scattered. It was we're good uh, talking with you guys. Fun. Anybody got any uh, shout outs they want to give? Oh, yeah. Shout out to the one person I mentioned most in this video, Caitlin Hall, my little sister. Oh, cool. She's great. One of our listeners. Cool. Oh, uh, big shout out to Spencer. Uh, he made us our logo. If you haven't seen it, go to our social media. Yes. So you can check that Hell shit yeah. out. They'll actually see it on screen as they're listening to this one. Oh, yeah. I also want to shout out, actually, my stepdad slash mom's boyfriend, Jeff. 
he actually always watches our shit and always is like giving me tips and stuff on you know what he wants to hear us talk about and all that stuff so shout out to him for just even taking time to listen to anything that we have to say you know shout out to him anything all right guys well 4451 we're gonna wrap this shit up thanks for listening we'll be back next weekend thank you for checking us out this has been the upper room podcast peace boys